Hello, Dr. Maggio here. I want to go through a basic pulse star adjustment with you. So let's go ahead and start with our patient. When we look at the pulse star screen, remember their last visit is going to be flagged right here. So when we do our scan, what we're going to do, and we just happen to use the sitting mode, you can do prone or standing. You're going to start at your C1 vertebrae, 90 degrees to the spine, keep your fingers off the tip of the instrument. Okay, and drop your shoulders. Okay. Then we're going to go through the thoracic spine using your index finger to palpate as you come through the spine. Into the lumbar spine and now into the sacral spine. Good. Now if we look at the pulse star screen one thing to keep in mind is that the areas that are flagged in red are the areas that are fixated and need to be adjusted. The areas that are flagged in yellow are surrounding muscle tension. So what we're going to do is utilize the smart intelligence of the Pro Adjuster where it's already pre-picked the areas that need to be adjusted. So we're going to start with C6 and it's set it's at the standard setting of 10 pounds per pressure. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your uh, pulse star head right on the C6 vertebrae, apply the pressure, and allow the instrument to keep rolling. And as soon as the computer gets a reading that the joint has stabilized, it's going to shut off. Good. Click the blue button. That will tag you to the next, which happens to be the T1 vertebrae. That is going to be at 15 pounds of pressure. And it's going to keep tapping once again. Now we're going to go into the S tube. And the C7 vertebrae. Good. Now we're going to reanalyze. Same way that you did right out of the gate. And we can look at the screen now. And as you watch the screen, we're going to get the new evaluation coming up. Good. All right. So what we see here in Ariel's case is that most of the cervical component, this was the first scan today, has resolved. There's still some muscle tension in there, but you can see here the sacral area has not. So one of the things that you can do is go into a standard protocol of muscle relaxing. What we can use is one of the small rubber tips. Put one of the small rubber tips on around the sacral area. Let's put it on 20, which is a good number to stimulate the sacral and paraspinal muscles in the lumbar spine. We're going to go through some paraspinal muscles, just the trigger points that you palpate, utilizing it until the instrument auto shuts off. We're also going to do this in the cervical spine around the areas where the muscles are really tight. Now you don't have to do this, especially if it's the patient's first adjustment. Because if you do this on their first adjustment, you may overstimulate the area and cause some extra soreness. So you don't have to worry about the scans being picture perfect right out of the gate. That's for something as you go through care with patients on getting those scans picture perfect. What we're looking for here right now is just simply some balance. Now we're going to go ahead and reanalyze the cervical spine. You see that looks much better. Now we're going to go ahead and reanalyze the sacral spine, where we had those components where there was a lot of restrictions remaining. And you can see an amazing change now with a decrease in 14% stiffness. So Miss Ariel did really, really well on her visit today. 
That's what we like to see. All those yellows and, uh, yellows and reds flip back to green. Thanks, folks. Utilize that in your practice.